shred <laughs> and they all blew up you need to keep pushing yourself really hard in order to get better at something and this is especially true in coding so today i'm gonna be doing just that i have no idea what the next level holds but i feel like it's going to be something exceptionally difficult our little workers have finally got their own cubicles <laughs> which means they no longer hear the breathing and gurgling of the other co-workers and we need to remain quiet so only one shredder may run at a time and if more than one shredder runs at a time they all explode and then there will be quietness again <laughs> all right so first of all i don't like this manager because she's a robot basically bullying these employees which means that i don't trust her so i think there's a double bluff hidden in there meaning i'm gonna tell all the workers to take a data cube from the printer and give it to the shredder and we'll see what happens let's do it take shred <laughs> and they all blew up well what do we have to do print and shred five documents but we have to be quiet i see that there are those data cubes on the ground so basically the cubicles are numbered so we could use these numbers and tell them which worker corresponds to which command something like that because the thing is that we've got those two commands tell and listen so you could say someone listen for a command which is coffee time and then someone says probably to everyone coffee time and that's when this worker starts executing his program so we could say if to the left of you there is a one you are in this cubicle and you execute this piece of code and we're gonna do the same for two three and four and one is gonna shred first and tell number two that he now can shred as well so let's start with two actually because two is going to be listening for hi it's gonna be like the first in the list if you are number three you're gonna be listening for morning and number four is listening for ready meaning these three people when executing this code are now waiting so only number one is not waiting what should she do she's gonna take the data cube from the printer and give it to the shredder and then i think she steps right so let's reset her to the left and what she's gonna do now is tell everyone because she can't say it in a direction that the person would have to be standing next to her to hear her so everyone hi that should trigger number two and she herself should start listening so if you are number one you should listen and you're gonna be listening for okay now the problem with this is that number two is then gonna say hi again so i'm gonna put this right here and i would say that these people should say something just before they stop executing the code and start listening so number two has to trigger number three so he's gonna tell everyone morning number three is gonna say ready and number four is gonna say hi no no sorry okay so when the code starts executing they're gonna say it but there's no one listening to them so it shouldn't matter and then they start listening number one is gonna start executing and then trigger number two and listen okay this 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 has to work let's see morning ready okay and number one starts executing hi and now number two starts executing and he shreds the data cube and starts listening but number two didn't tell anyone anything because i forgot to put a jump right here so this whole thing has to repeat forever so number two took from the printer gave to the shredder stepped back but then he just ended the program but he's supposed to loop back check that he's number two say morning trigger number three and start listening now this should work hopefully i'm gonna speed it up a little because we can see it working already and now another loop and they are going again and they are supposed to print five i mean shred five things each so it's gonna take some time we've used way too many commands and it took us way too long the problem is that i have absolutely no idea how i can optimize this honestly i don't think i can we need to remove four commands 
and cut the execution time in half. It's taking us 120 seconds almost and the goal is 60. So how do I remove four commands? I suppose that these if statements should, could, might be squashed together somehow. But I honestly think that these people need to be listening for different words. And by extension, they each have to tell different things to trigger the other people. That would be the size challenge. And the time challenge, to make this whole thing faster, I have something in mind, but I don't think it's gonna work or that I'm gonna be able to do it. But maybe we can trigger all the people at once somehow, but they're all gonna be standing in different parts of the grid. So there are four spots. And if we trigger them all at once, some people are gonna shred faster than the others. I'm gonna try and write a new code, which is hopefully gonna be faster, and we're not gonna tell or listen anything. Okay, it already doesn't work, I think, because I wanted them to pick up the data cube that's on the ground. Does it work? Nope, you can't take from the ground. But what I want to do is something like this. Number one is gonna take from the printer, step left, step back right, and then give to the shredder. And she's gonna repeat that again. <laughs> well, <laughs> I actually managed to kill her by feeding a data cube into the printer. That was an accident. But what I want to do is make her use like four commands, maybe five, and be out of sync with the other people who are executing different commands, moving around the grids and feeding cubes into the shredder. I've added another person, number two. So different set of commands. Let's see if they are out of sync. So far, so... All right. <laughs> I want to say so far, so good. but It's not so good. I think number one was too fast. Let's see it again. Oh, and that might be because number two actually has to check, am I number one? which is basically stalling him one command. So he's one command off already just by acknowledging that he's number two. Now he's putting it into the shredder. Yeah, and number one is doing that at the same time. So we need to slow number one some more, maybe. I could just say another if statement that doesn't do anything. If there's a one to the left of you, just do nothing and continue with your life. But do that every time, no, just once. Do it just once at the start to slow yourself down again. Now let's see whether this works. So she had to check twice. Feed the data cube. Yeah, yeah, it's working. They're out of sync. And I think they should stay there. <laughs> okay, so, so they managed to synchronize at some point. Why is that? I think it might be because of the gift to to the bottom right, which makes her do a step and a gift to at the same time. So this should count as two commands, but it doesn't, or maybe it does. I don't know. I just fear that if I can't uh, make this work with two people, there's no way I'm making this work with four people. Let's talk of these commands as of seconds. This person should shred on second number one, this number two, three and four, and then repeat meaning this person is also going to shred on second number five because there's no way we are actually managing to shred on the first second. So let's do that at the start they waste four seconds, right? Just waste it. Do whatever you need to do to be ready to shred when you have to. And then this person shreds on number five. So that's one second here and then we need Two, three, four, and five is gonna be give two, and repeat, and then shred after four seconds. So this should work already. That's shredding on five, because one second it took to check the if statement, and the next shredding is gonna be on four again. So technically on nine. Number two should shred on two. Again, two seconds already wasted. So this should take four again. Wait, so do I just, make it the same code as number one, because this person had to check two if statements, so it's already off by two. 
This is gonna be interesting if it actually works. Oh, you know what? Let's just try it with these two for a second before writing three and four. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I, I think I messed up because I'm still feeding the printer. I forgot about that. So we need four commands and feed it to the shredder. Can I do step up like that? What happens? Does she step up or does she waste any time trying to step up? Yes, she does. Okay, cool. Because otherwise it wouldn't work. So let's try again. Okay. Didn't work. Why not? Let's try again slower. <laughs> okay, now she's feeding the data cube. But these, this person is already there as well. So I think the step up didn't work. We need to use exactly four commands for this person to shred, take from, step right, step left and give to the shredder. That's gonna work, but then she's gonna be next to the shredder and she can't take from the shredder because she will just feed herself into it. Look, step, step, put, uh, uh, you bastard number two, stop giving to. Let's try again. I just want to show you something. So give to and now take from the shredder, meaning jump into it, right? That's not what we want at all. Oh wait, does it actually matter how many commands I use? It doesn't, does it? Because they are all gonna use the same commands. So take from, right, left. I don't even have to do that bullshit. No, I do, I do, I do. Oh God. I just realized it can take them longer than those four commands. It just can't be shorter because then another person would still be shredding and they would shred already as well. So four commands at least, meaning this should work. I just checked that it works. She does keep shredding. And now just copy the same code to the others. I'm really confident this is gonna work. So I'm not even gonna check and I'm just gonna implement it in all those four if statements, if branches. Okay, that's hopefully the same code. I hope I didn't mess it up somewhere. And now let's just execute it. So everyone, start walking around, do your magic, shred the f I think that wasn't enough again. So let's try putting back the if statements that are completely useless, just to make them waste more time, but only at the start or always. I don't know. Let's put it everywhere and see what happens. I just have no idea what I'm doing anymore because it should have worked already. Hello again. <laughs> I'm back. So I had a work meeting, which I completely forgot about. <laughs> Luckily, nothing important. Anyway, uh, I think I haven't tried running this yet, or have I? I edit these if statements and let's see if it works now, because they are supposed to slow the people down. So hopefully between person number one and person number two, there are now going to be two commands of space. I think, I hope, let's see. Oh, for fuck's sake. The problem here is that I can't tell person number two to take an extra step in addition to person number one because A, it wouldn't work and B, eventually they would come into sync again. Oh, I know, I know, those if statements are stupid. Let me remove those because they don't seem to be doing anything. Let's take from twice, does it help? It means they're gonna complain once before continuing with their code because their hands would be full with the cube they've picked up previously. Or is this approach never gonna work because they're always gonna be one step behind the other? Let's see, pick up, complain, step, step, give. And yep, it doesn't work. Already giving to that as well. So what if number one does not complain? Number two complains. And number three maybe is gonna complain three times and number four four times. I think that's overkill. And by the time number four gives to the shredder, number one is gonna give again because there's no complaining there. So that's surely not gonna work. Works here, works here. And now this one is feeding and this one as well. Yeah, 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 N doesn't work since number one is not taking nearly as long as she should. Well, this sucks. And this was supposed to be the time challenge. And what about the size challenge? I think here we need to really use the mutual exclusions. Oh, you know what I could do? 
Number two is already gonna be listening for high and I could trigger number two first. So let's say number one means else, tell and listen. We don't need the if, but the else itself is another command anyway. But we could do it like this. So number two actually starts because number one is gonna trigger them at the start. I haven't actually removed a single command, have I? <laughs> That's dumb. What just happened? How come number two is in the else branch? Oh, cause that's if, if, if else. Okay, I fucked up. We could perhaps save some time by forcing them to take from before they actually start listening. Is it gonna save some time at all? Because now they can trigger someone else. Oh no, it's not gonna work. Cause, cause they can't trigger someone else and that would they have to take, take from first. Ah, that was a dumb idea and only would have shaved of like five seconds at most if it worked. Oh, it actually shaved of two seconds. <laughs> Why am I trying to shave off some time? This is supposed to be the size challenge. <laughs> I've actually no idea how this should work, how to improve this. I mean, this code works beautifully, but I fear that I can't optimize this. And if I want to shave off minute or six commands, I have to take a completely different approach and I can't think of any. Can you?